e-bike popularity has gone through the roof in the past few years and there are all types of styles to choose from. However, in this video, we'll focus on a specific type of e-bike and the biggest retailer. We're going to look at the top 10 best-selling fat tire e-bikes on Amazon, what they offer and drawbacks. There are similarities with these e-bikes and that is that they all happen to be 48 volts, 6061 aluminum frames, removable batteries, and have four inch fat tires. So without further ado, let's get started with number 10. The YYG Cool Electric Bike. It offers extreme styling and I think it's a hit. It has a 20 amp hour UL certified battery, can go 28 miles per hour, throttle only 33 on pedal assist, 80 newton meters of torque, Full suspension can climb a 35% grade, dual hydraulic brakes, and comes in at 82 pounds and has a load capacity of 330 pounds. The drawbacks, the 1200 watt motor, there's no mention of nominal power. The type of shifter is not mentioned. It's not really built for any type of cargo. The high frame design may be an issue for the vertically challenged. Styling may not be everyone's cup of tea, their website advertises 14 mile per hour top speed. What's with that? If you're willing to pay 1700, this seems to be a great alternative to a Super 73, offering solid power and battery capacity. You can ride in style for a good amount of time and for sure a head turner. Coming in at number nine, the Fucare Libra, priced at 1299, comes with a 20 amp hour battery 750 watt motor, 80 newton meters of torque, and has a top speed of 32 miles an hour. It has a Shimano seven speed shifter, full suspension, a unique frame design, five inch waterproof display, 180 millimeter brake rotors, weighs in at 76 pounds and has a load capacity of 400 pounds. The drawback, it comes with an LG battery. However, it's not UL listed, something doesn't add up. The rear seat has no pegs. This is a budget cargo bike with a really unique style. If you need to haul a lot, the Fucare Libra is hard to ignore. Coming in at number eight is the Filoto H8 dual motor fat tire e-bike. It's priced at $17.99, has dual motors, 48 volt, 22 amp hours. 2000 watts of motor power with a peak of 2200 watts, 82 times 2 newton meters of torque with a max speed of 35 miles an hour, a Shimano 21 speed shifter, hydraulic brakes, weighs in at 78 pounds with a load capacity of 330 pounds. The drawbacks, the styling is basic. The bike is a bit tall. It's listed for rider minimum height of five foot two. That is not correct at all. This e-bike has lots of power, lots of range with a price to match. If you're looking to conquer hells at a trailer and or really long commutes, this one is for you. Coming in at number seven is the Vidalin U7. It is priced at $11.99, has a 16 amp hour battery, 750 watts with a max of 1200 watts, 28 miles per hour, 80 newton meters of torque. It folds, has a seven speed Shimano shifter, hydraulic brakes, and it's UL2849 fully certified e-bike. It is IPX6 rated and can handle rain, has a weight of 72 pounds with a load capacity of 330. The cons is the styling. There's a lot to like about this bike. The only fully UL listed rated bike out of the bunch and the price is more than fair. The battery capacity, power, folding ability, brakes. This bike has it all. And the only downsides is that it looks like it was made for an 82 year old grandmother of 10. Bruh. Coming in at number six is the VV electric mountain bike priced at $7.99. It has a 13 amp hour battery. 500 watt motor and can reach speeds of 25 miles an hour. It has a Shimano 21 speed shifter, weighs in at 60 pounds, has a load capacity of 330 pounds. The drawbacks is made for 
taller riders, five foot five inch and taller. It lacks a rear rack. For a commuter style e-bike based on the power and gearing, the lack of rear rack is an odd decision, otherwise seems decent for the money. Coming in at number five is the VeloWave Ranger e-bike. It's priced at $12.99 with coupon, has a 15 amp hour battery, 750 watts buffing motor with 80 newton meters of torque, top speed of 28 miles per hour, a Shimano seven speed shifter, hydraulic brakes and forks, has a weight of 94 pounds and load capacity of 300 pounds. The drawbacks, it is made for a rider 5.6 and taller. LG battery is not UL listed. Something isn't right. Lacks mud guards. Lack of rear rack. Lacks puncture resistant tires. The VeloWave Ranger offers major quality components. However, missing the puncture resistant tire means it's a city bike and it brings into question the lack of rear rack. The lack of mud guards. Is this a commuter or is it a mountain bike? This is about as confusing as a 14 year old TikTok influencer with an identity crisis. <coughs> Coming in at number four is the Yin Zibu electric bike. Priced at $10.99, it has a 13 amp hour battery, can reach top speeds of 25 miles per hour, Shimano seven speed shifter, Weighs 70 pounds with a load capacity of 350 pounds. The drawbacks is for riders height five foot six and taller. 1000 watt is questionable. And the Newton meters of torque is not listed. The website is not found. There is no social media presence. The Zin Z Boo electric bike offers a good value. You are limited to support through Amazon's messaging system and self-help, which isn't uncommon in the budget e-bike market. Coming in at number three is the Rattan 750W LM slash LF Pro. It's priced at $1199, has a 13 amp hour battery, 750 watt motor, 80 newton meters of torque, 28 mile per hour top speed, and it folds. Front and rear baskets, Alloy wheel, Shimano seven speed shifter, 180 millimeter brakes, weighs in at 66 pounds with a load capacity of 330 pounds total, including the 110 pounds for the rear seat. The drawbacks, it has poor reviews on service expectations and more. The Rattan has been around for a while. Specs are solid, replacement parts are offered. So if you're willing to tinker, if you have issues, this can be a great value. Coming in at number two is the Narek Fat Tire E-Bike, priced at $850. It has a 13 amp hour battery, 500 watt motor with 915 watt peak, 28 miles per hour top speed. It has a folding design with a Shimano seven speed shifter. The bike weighs 59 pounds and has a load capacity of 290 pounds. The drawbacks is the 160 millimeter mechanical brakes. The Narek Fat Tire e-bike is a decent folding e-bike that has specs that rival big brands for a low price. Coming in at number one is the Woken Electric Bike. Priced at $639. It has a 10 amp hour battery with a 500 watt motor, 20 mile per hour top speed, dual suspension, folding design, Shimano seven speed shifter has a weight of 62 pounds with battery and 54 pounds without and has a max capacity of 330 pounds. The drawback is a lack of rear rack or any storage area. The key is on the bottom of the frame. Website is not found. However, they are on Twitter. The Woken Folding e-bike is extremely inexpensive for what it offers. That does mean the lowest capacity out of the bunch. However, that should be enough for a 15 mile throttle only range. Support is limited to Amazon messaging 
only. So that's the list of Amazon bestsellers for fat tire e-bikes. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, subscribe and share. Thank you for watching.